well, I have a a follow up to the story that I'm sure a lot of y'all um don't care about. Don't see the rationale of, you don't see the humanity in the story, but I do. And for that reason and that reason I'm alone, I mean that reason alone, I'm going to bring this story. And in fact, it's it's got a happy ending. Um because I told y'all it's just been a spurge of not of of black trans being killed. And it seems like nobody gives a damn about it. So a 33-year-old Milwaukee man was charged in connection to the murder of Cashay Henderson. Henderson, a 31-year-old black trans woman, died from a gunshot wound in an apartment that was set on fire in Milwaukee. The fire... Uh, the Milwaukee County District Attorney's Office had charged Cordell Howes with one count of first-degree reckless homicide and habitual criminality repeater, use of a dangerous weapon, and one count of possession of a firearm by a felon, habitual criminality repeater. The Milwaukee Fire Department responded to a home near 29th and Villard on February 26 for a fire. After discovering Henderson with a gunshot wound, Milwaukee police were notified. So according to a criminal complaint during a search of the home, a detective recovered a gasoline can, a gas can nozzle, and the key fob for um uh for a Toyota. An unfired nine millimeter cartridge was also recovered. Henderson's Toyota was found parked in the parking lot. I want to send the condolences to her family and friends and everybody who loved her. Because the autopsy revealed that Henderson's death was caused by multiple gunshot wounds. A witness told authority that when she went to bed around 1 a.m., she did not see Henderson's car parked in the lot. The witness's friend who stayed the night told authorities that she woke up from a loud noise that she thought may have been a gunshot wound at about 5.30 a.m. The witness then woke up around 7.30 and smelled gas. Around 8, the apartment began to get smoky. When she looked out the window, she now saw Henderson's car in the parking lot. Uh, and the complaint says by 9 o'clock a.m., the witness went to Henderson's apartment, but nobody answered. So she called 911 when she small. When she saw smoke coming from Henderson's vent. A Milwaukee police pole camera near uh, Titonia and Villard captured Henderson's car heading home to her apartment building around 3.45 a.m. The footage appears to show at least two different people in the car. <clears throat> video captured a suspect on camera walking south of the parking lot of Henderson's building. Security video appeared to also show that the suspect had been a passenger in the seat of Henderson's car and a latent print recovered from a container of Lysol wipes Inside the vehicle was determined to have houses print. Shot her and then set the house on fire. A man told authorities that on Saturday, February 25th, that House had asked him to drive him all the way from Nina to Milwaukee. 
The clothing he was wearing that day was consistent with the clothing worn by the suspect in the security video. After dropping house off in Milwaukee, the man went back home alone. But on Monday night, February 27th, House showed up at the man's house in Nina. The complaint says House pointed his firearm with a green laser at the man's wife. House said um, House was in the man's living room armed with a big SIG 9mm PT-20 handgun with a green laser beam. And an extended magazine. <clears throat> the man says he took the firearm from him and took it apart. Howes was acting strange. Had a blank stare on his face. <clears throat> the man then told authorities that Howes showed him a video that depicted what appeared to be a dead African-American woman with blood on her head as well as on the pillows and on the floor. The description of the home in the video matched Henderson's apartment. Howes allegedly said, I caught a body of a disgusting blanking trans the complaint says, I, uh, uh, he admitted, basically, to killing the transgender person. House also put his phone in airplane mode so that the police could not track it. He also allegedly mentioned that he wanted to kill other trans people. When he reacquired the gun... And began pointing it at people. The man told Howes to leave. Howes' mother stated that Sunday morning he came home agitated and handed her a Gucci purse and a Rolex watch. She gave the purse and the watch to police who were later able to identify it as Henderson's purse. So he didn't kill the woman and gave her dead, gave the items to her mama. What sickness. We better start checking in these 5Gs. We better start uh, finding out what kind of frequency these people are operating off of. <clears throat> On February 28th, Nina and Menasha police attempted to locate Howes and arrest him. During the chase before they arrest, the complaint says Howes threw several items into the snow, including uh, a 9 millimeter with the laser, three firearm magazines, and he was eventually arrested after his car was disabled after the pursuit. Anyway, he shot the trans and he set her on fire. I don't care if you got a problem with gay people. I don't, I don't, I don't care about none of that. But if you can justify this kind of behavior, you're sick. You got a problem. First of all, it's nothing like having a family member murdered. And those of y'all who have, you know what I'm talking about. Those of y'all who ain't, y'all can just move around. But it's one of the worst feelings you can experience. So my heart goes out to the family. And um, I hope this man gets every bit. Or the book throw it at him. I want to know what y'all think. T 
Tell me what you think about Cache Henderson. It's a lot of trans killing going on. And we real silent. But y'all just don't know. In a revolution, you need all hands on deck. So, I want to know what y'all think about this. If you like what you hear, please subscribe, share the channel, and I'll see you in the next video.